and uh, this is a practical based question. What is end error in a meter bridge? How is it overcome? What is end error in a meter bridge? How is it overcome? So, we have studied uh, theory part right from that they are asking a practical based question here right and uh, this uh, end error is an error right as if that this is the 100 centimeter or the 0 centimeter and a meter bridge here it is so 60 as if that this is 100 and uh, below that in top they have mentioned as 0 centimeter in a meter scale here the bottom 100 centimeter top 0 centimeter or otherwise in the top 100 centimeter or the bottom 0 centimeter by the way they are using that meter scale right and this end error in a middle bridge is the error arising due to there are two points it arises what are they the ends of the wire not coinciding not coinciding with 0 centimeter or 100 centimeter marks on the meter scale right so the wires are not coinciding exactly at 0 centimeter or 100 centimeter marks on that meter scale and the second one the presence of contact resistance at the joints of the meter bridge wire with the metallic strips what we are doing generally we are using metallic strips and the potentiometer wire is connected in series right by using the metallic strips using that metallic strips there exists some contact resistance due to that metallic strips and that case also we have some end error is happening the presence of con contact resistance are the joints of the meter bridge wire with the metallic strips that point made a contact metallic strips and potentiometer wire that presence of contact resistance also will arises end error then how we can avoid this end error it can be reduced by finding the balance length yes nullify point yes balance length by interchanging the position of r and s so we need to interchange r and s right and then taking the average value of s for two readings then we need to take the average value for average value of s for two readings this is called end error and we can avoid it yeah the problem is continue the resistance in the two ohms of the meter bridge are 5 ohm and s respectively when the resistance s is shunted with equal resistance the new balance length found to be 1.5 L1 where L1 is initial balancing length calculate the value of S again read the problem the resistance in the two ohms of the meter bridge are 5 ohm and capital S respectively when the resistance S is shunt shunted with an equal resistance the new balance length found to be 1.5 L1 where the L1 is the initial balancing length calculate the value of S okay. so what they given the problem they given two resistance namely R and S R having the value of 5 ohm and we have S okay. Okay. and for this connection we have a battery key and we have connected as like in meter bridge we are doing like that so at this point it shows null deflection in the galvanometer that's why we can write p by q is equal to r by s so p is this end right and r is q is this end p up to a to j q is j to c so p by q is equal to r by s so what is p value and i have mentioned in that l1 that is the length from that point l1 then what about q 100 minus l1 because the meter bridge consists of 100 centimeter right so 100 minus l 100 minus L1 centimeter. So L1 divided by 100 minus L1 that is equal to pi by S. So R by S. This is the first case. 
In the case, what they are asking, this S is shunted with equal resistance. That means, here we are adding one more resistance that is parallel to that shunt resistance. So, if you are connecting this shunt resistance, what about the initial position? And they are asking, what is the value of this S value at the final? Okay. The same logic we are going to use. Again, this high resistance box having R is equal to 5 ohm. But here we are adding two central resistance S yes and S yes, which are connected in parallel. And again from A to J that is P, J to C is Q. And according to using Newton Price principle, P by Q is equal to R by S. What is P? Is 1.5 L1 that given. Yes, they increase into 1.5 into L1 where L1 is initially balanced. In. Okay, 1.5 into L1 divided by what is J to C 100 minus 1.5 into L1. That is equal to 5 divided by S by 2. Why we are putting S by 2? Because the center resistance is connected in parallel. Therefore, red reduce it into S by 2. So, S divided by 2. Denominator of, denom sorry, denominator of denominator 2 should go to numerator. Therefore, reduce 10 divided by S. And 1.5 into L1 divided by 100 minus 1.5 L1. Here I wrote is which is equal to. 10 we can return as 2 times of 5 by S. What is 5 by S? Here we wrote, right? 5 by S is equal to L1 divided by 100 minus L1. So, I am going to substitute this 5 by S as L1 divided by 100 minus L1 here. So, 1.5 L1 whole divided by 100 minus 1.5 L1 is equal to 2 into L1 divided by 100 minus L1. And still we have just a second. Here the steps followed. In the last case we have written to just cross multiply 1.5 L1 into 100 minus L1 is equal to 2 into L1 100 minus 1.5 into L1. So 1.5 L1 into 100 that will use 150 L1. 1.5 L1 into minus L1 that will use 1.5 into L1 square equal to 2 into L1 into 100 200 L1 minus 2 into 1.5 L1 that will use minus 3 L1 square. So I am going, uh, this minus 3 L1 squares goes to left side and this 150 L1 goes to right side. So this will become plus, so 3 L1 square minus 1.5 L1 square is equal to 200 L1 minus 150 L1. So 200 minus 150 L1 that will use 50 L1. Here 3 L square minus 1.5 L1 square that will use 1.5 L1 square. Here we can cancel over L1 square L. Therefore we can write 1.5 L1 is equal to 50. Therefore we can write L1 is equal to 50 divided by 1.5. So, 50 divided by 1.5 we can write 100 by 3 centimeter that is the balancing length L1 is equal to 100 divided by 3 centimeter and L1 divided by 100 minus L1 that is equal to 5 by S. Yes. This is the first condition we have right. What they are asking? The sun to L yes they are asking. So, L value we found here 100 minus 3. So, substitute 100 minus 3 divided by 100 minus 100 by 3. So, take LCM in this equation. So, it will give 300 minus 100 divided by 3 and the numerator we have 100 by 3. So, 3, 3 will be cancelled. So, 100 divided by 300 minus 100, 200. So, 100 divided by 200 that is equal to 5 by S. So, just cross multiply 100 S is equal to 200 into 5. So, this will be cancelled 1 time, this will be cancelled into 2 times. So, 2 into 5 that will give S equal to 10. I hope you understand well. See you in the next video.